Right, this is the survival hunter. First of all, I'd like to this mob here on the left. He keeps mounting and dismounting. Yeah, he does that forever. Um, before I show you, I found a disc priest here using the new um, what is this ability called? Well, it looks frickin' pimp, whatever it is. Archangel. Um, it boosts some stuff. Go check it out on Wild Tau. Tau. It looks it looks awesome. Um, sporting the pink plane strider, and that is Power Ward Barrier. Um, yes. Okay. To begin, um, here is to hunt hard. Um, okay, some new stuff about the pet first. Um, look at the pet bar. Look at the pet bar, you frick. Um, you can rearrange it. Now, I'm using a new skill called move to location. Your pet will move to the targeting circle and stay there. This, imaginally, is very helpful. Now, look at this moonkin. Look at this freaking moonkin. He's just spamming moonfire. Look, he looks so freaking awesome. Gosh, I love it. Okay, now let's actually get to the hunt. The best thing about Survival Hunter is the AoE. My gosh. Um, so there's a spell called Trap Launcher, where you can launch a trap um, up to 30 yards away from you. Um, you. This is how I would do an AoE pull. You start with Trap Launcher, do a uh, shot, launch the trap, and then spam multi-shot. Multi-shot applies Serpent Sting, and those two 3k things you see are Serpent Sting critical hits. Then you get a lock and load like I just did, and it's very nice indeed. Uh, there is no limit to multi-shot now. This will hit 20 murlocs, uh, whatever the frick. Very nice. Okay, now... Um, this is a segment of another video. I think it's me doing the exact same thing. Yes. So launch the trap there. Um, spamming. Alternating between a steady shot, and, which generates focus when cast and doesn't cost any focus. You know, it's the focus bar on the upper left. Um, and a multi shot. Just got to lock and load the proc there. That's what those two arrows are. Um, as you can see, there's there's a fair amount of damage here. Now, it, numbers need to be tweaked, but, but but look at the damage. Look at all those crits. Um, survival can talent uh, Black Arrow and Serpent Sting to have... So my mother freaking audio cut out on me. After like seven minutes of recording. So I'm pissed. Um, yeah, so that talentless, um, blah, Black Arrow and Serpent Sting crit for 300% damage. Um, okay, here's, here's what a boss target is like. Um, Hunter's Mark, Serpent Sting, uh, in the future we'll be keeping Serpent Sting up with Cobra Shot, which you'll use instead of Steady Shot. That'll generate focus, and since it's nature damage, it'll gain bonus from your mastery, which is... Your survival mastery increases the damage of any kind of non-physical attack, essentially. Um, so then with the remainder of your focus, you keep Black Arrow up, you use Explosive Shot whenever you can, and that's pretty much all you have focus to do, honestly, because those spells are just so expensive, focus-wise. Um, Survival Hunters, I predict, are going to be very reliant on crit for a lot of reasons. One, uh, Serpent Sting, Black Arrow, you get huge crits that way. Be remarkable in AoE situations too. Um, everyone knows the pressure value of a nice critting explosive shot. But also for the talent uh, thrill of the hunt, whenever you crit, it gives 40% of the focus back. That's a big deal with um, Black Arrow and Explosive Shot that cost so much focus. Uh, that's almost enough to cast an Arcane Shot every time they crit. Um, you know, you'd finally be able to start using Arcane Shot in your rotation when you have a significant amount of crit. Um, which you would you'd want to do also because it's, um, a, it's a, you know, a, an Arcane attack. It'll get bonus from your master. Um, so, 
overall, I, I, I think pro the smallest amount of your damage is honestly going to come from uh, ranged attack, or just from from auto attack and from your pet. Um, I don't think physical damage is really going to be the uh, as big of a deal for survival as it is for the others. It'll still be a significant part because of auto attack, but um, just less. Now what you're going to see me do here in a second is use the Trap Launcher spell, which costs 30 focus, a little bit more than Arcane Shot, to launch a Freezing Trap on the ground at the boss's feet. Um, this isn't the, the the trap that, like, CCs them, but the one that snares. I guess I'm not doing it then. But, uh, the reason you do that is that there's a talent in the tree that gives you an extra six crit against anything standing in that trap. Um, and because crit is such a big focus of survival hunters, that's very nice indeed. And... Look at that AoE. Just imagine that with some tuned numbers. I mean, already you're seeing a fair amount of crit there. Get your lock and loads off too. Oh, that's nice, dude. And, and recommend, that's on two targets. Again, multi shot will hit any number of targets and put Serpent Sting on any number, or on all of them. So, very, very powerful in AoE situations. Um, gosh, look at that. Look at the damage. Personally, I find the single target rotation pretty annoying right now because there's not enough crit. It's a lot of... I wouldn't call it downtime, but where you're just standing, standing, spamming... Uh, well, what's it called? Uh, steady shot. Just because you don't have the focus to use higher damage moves, like arcane shot or something. But with a lot of crit, uh, I hear you'll be able to. So, that is something to look forward to indeed. So notice the pally there with the wings. Um, too bad his judgments are critting for 2k, literally. Um, I've had so many recording problems right now that I forget if I've said this or not already, but I um, love survival in AoE. I'm not so fun single target presently without a lot of crit, just because you spend a lot of time just auto or using a steady shot and just because you don't have enough crit to get focus, enough focus to use other stuff. Now what I have been doing, and this may be wrong, when lock and load procs is, uh, you know, explosive shot and then you need some filler. Um, but it can't be steady shot because that takes too long for maximum DPS. So I, regardless of what my focus level has been, I have been using kill command as that filler. Um, and then using explosive shot again. And the reason for the filler is so that you can get all the explosive shot ticks in there. Uh, look at those numbers! Freaking epic. Um, so, so survival is my favorite AoE spec, for sure. Um, there are so many dang hunters in this square, by the way. If you can't hear it and see all the shots coming from all directions. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, now if I get a lock and load proc and it's on cooldown, explosive shot, um, I've been using one of the arcane shot free ticks and then a kill command and an explosive shot and an explosive shot again when it ends because um, explosive shots under lock and load have no cooldown. May not be optimum. But I would like to cast Arcane Shot sometimes. <laughs> um, that pretty much wraps it up for this. Um, I think by, uh, Marksmanship is okay. About the same level of intensity. Beastmaster looks like it'd be face roll, but it's actually the most interesting in my opinion. I'll do a video on that in the future. And 9k crit. I've